Uh, so, uh, a very good evening to Juan Najmea Radia. So, uh, my name is Chang Chunhan and my matrix number is B0821101140. And today I want to talk, I want to discuss about the lab test, uh, which is the Hope's Law. So, uh, right now I'm going to discuss the first question. So, for the vernier caliper, uh, for, for the main scale, as you can see here, the main scale is matched with the Werner scale, and the one the zero of the Werner scale is located between the seven and the eight. So we can consider that the value of the main scale is seven. So, which as you can see, the Werner scale is seven. So for the Werner the Werner scale for the Werner scale, we have to find the straight line, uh, to like match the main scale and the Werner scale. So uh. If I zoom in a little bit, as you can see, the 0 0.4, the 48, like the 48, is matched with the main scale. So uh, we need to convert this in, we need to convert this into millimeter, which is uh, 0 0.48. So the total is 7.48. So for the micrometer, as you can see, here is 5, 5.5, 6.5. 7, 7.5, 8, 8.5, 9, 9.5. So the leaf scale is 9.5. For the timber scale, as you can see, it is mat it look is matched with the value. The timber's value, the timber scale value is 5. So we need to convert the 5 into millimeter, which is 0 0.05. So the total total is 9.55. So uh, I want to talk about the Hope's law. So uh uh, so as you can see, this is the simulation for our Hope's Law experiment. So uh, for for the first table, it require require us to measure the extension of length by using different uh, applied force. So the spring constant is set to two hundred newton meter and three hundred newton meter. So the first thing we adjust the applied force to two newton, and we can get the answer. But since the lab sheet require us to uh, convert to millimeter, so the answer will be 10 millimeter. Same thing goes to 300 newton meter, and the answer is 0 0.007 meter. And the, so after it converts to millimeter, the answer will be 7 millimeter. Uh, for the parallel, parallel, same thing. So uh, for, for example, the top spring is 200 newton meter. The bottom spring is 300 newton meter. So if we adjust the apply force to new two newton, we can get a uh, four millimeter. If four newton is eight millimeter, six newton is 12 millimeter, eight newton is 16 millimeter, and 10 newton is 20 millimeter. And the ser for the series form, if we adjust the uh, the force from two newton, we can get the answer is. 17 millimeter, 4 newton, 33 millimeter, 6 newton, 50 millimeter, and the 8 newton is 70, 67 millimeter, and the 10 newton is 83 millimeter. Uh, so as you can see, this is all the result that I got. So this is the individual spring, this is the parallel form, and this is the series form. So I want to right now I want to talk about the question. So from this experiment data, we need to choose the suitable spring constant and arrangement for the winning scale. So for the answer is the three two thousand newton millimeter and three thousand newton millimeter because because uh this extension spring is more is more stable the and the value is much more stable. So in uh, the question G, we need to measure the value of spring constant in newton meter for parallel arrangement. So as you can see, this is the data that we get from the parallel arrangement. So what we're gonna do first after we plot the, the, the graph, so uh, you, if you look take a look at this equation, it's y equal to 0.5x. So based uh, on the equation y equal to mx plus c, we can call that the spring constant. The, the spring constant is equal to the slope. 
which is the m in the equation. Therefore, the value of spring constant is 0 0.5 newton millimeter. So, uh, the last question is, how are you going to find the spring constant like from the graph? So, as, uh, as I told before, we can find the spring constant by looking at the slope of the graph, which is the value of m in the equation y equals to mx plus c. So, that's it from me today. Thank you very much.